I'm Jelaine Rickards and I'm a professional garden designer. Well, it's so exciting. Uh, Chelsea Flower Show is renowned as the top-notch horticultural show within the entire world, so it's a massive privilege to be showcasing CampFed there. As the Campaign for Female Education, we work with rural communities in some of the poorest parts of sub-Saharan Africa to help disadvantaged girls to go to school and to succeed at school. As they complete school, we support young women to uh, create businesses that help them to generate an income and to lift themselves and their families out of poverty. Agriculture is a major growth sector for young women's enterprise. So when I went to Zimbabwe earlier this year, one of the many people that I met was a lady called Beauty, who is an agricultural entrepreneur and runs her own farming business in Zimbabwe, and she's been massively influential on this garden. So I've hit on the idea of um, using the classroom setting to obviously um, focus people on the educational part, but actually the rest of the planting is given over to horticultural crops, things which Beauty might well be growing. So for instance, the biofortified um, beans which she grows there are going to be featured in the garden. The planting is going to be big and bold and exuberant and really powerful. Um, I really wanted to get a punch of colour in there too, so I've got some wonderful purple-leaved enseti which are going to look great against the blue wall. People won't have seen a lot of the crops that we're going to be growing there. We're hopefully going to get a papaya tree there with some fruit on it too, and a mango tree, and possibly a jacaranda or an orange tree. So there's a massive amount of really run wonderful plants going in, which I'm hoping the public are going to really stop and talk about, and then hence talk about Camford. Our hope is that the Camford Garden at Chelsea will raise awareness of the vital role that young women in rural Africa play in food production and in tackling climate change. We have a lot of Kama members who are into agribusinesses and we want to take it a step further and develop ourselves to be sustainable and to be able to provide for our families. We've seen African-inspired gardens at Chelsea, but nothing quite like this.